channel so in this video I'm going to unbox and review Fitbit Charge 4 so I've, I haven't um, unboxed it yet so I'm going to unbox it in front of you and um, not a full review because you can't do a review when you just get the product so maybe after a month I'll do like a full review but now I'll just show you like the features like how to set it up and stuff so let's get into it so I got the box in and then uh, it's just been packaged today let's remove from this Okay, so this is plastic bag here. Wait, move this. Okay, so you got the watch here. And then you get a bigger strap, I guess, or a smaller one. So it's already strapped with the strap. I already got the strap. And um, it's got a bigger one, I think. That's a bigger one. And the charger. It doesn't have the plug, but it has everything else. And you got a product information booklet thing. And just a normal card. Okay, let's just put this aside over here. And so, before we start, I just wanted to say, you know, I was telling you in my vlogs uh, and stuff, I think, that... I was going to review the Samsung Galaxy Fit 2 but I already opened I I was not going to do the unboxing video but just the review video because I already unboxed it I did already unbox it but one day um, it just suddenly crashed nothing was working I charged it I waited like 10 days for it to work then it didn't work so we returned it it had a return policy so we returned it and I bought this new one Okay, so I'm going to remove this sticker. So this thing is not charged. And let's just look at the product information maybe have a setup guide okay so it doesn't have a setup manual or anything so um i think we should just start charging it i'll get my plug and start charging it okay so let's charge it so we've got this nice clipper so it can fit in nicely. Let's just put this in. It needs to match. This needs to match with the uh, the yellow color copper charging part. Okay, so there's a smiley face. Okay, it says download or update the Fitbit app to set up. Okay, so I'm going to basically take a phone and set it up now. And I need to download the Fitbit app, so okay, let's do that quickly. Okay, so I'm going to download the Fitbit app. 
Okay, so I've updated, I mean, I've downloaded the Fitbit app. Now, I'm going to open it. And I think it's going to tell, yeah, we need to create an account. Oh, no, we don't need to. We don't need to. Okay, so let's just say set up and uh, okay so you do need to create an account uh you just need to do that i'm just going to cut this part out so i've entered all the things it asked me to and now it's connecting to fitbit okay so after it's connected um it's going to ask you i mean it's going to tell you then you just say next okay um it's telling me to wear it so i'll just take it off and wear it let's go to my bench my table and do it okay so let's wear it i'm gonna wear it now Okay, so I wore it. Let's go back to the phone. Okay, so let's just say next. And then it's going to explain um, how to use the watch. And it's going to ask you for your location. Just allow it. And then see, it's going to tell you like how to use it. I'll just run through it quickly. Okay, so I quickly run through the instructions and everything. Now it's fully set and we can check the app now. Okay, so let me start the recording off screen. Okay, so I guess you're seeing the screen now. Okay, so I'll just show you the features. First, I'll show you the exercise I was talking about. So you can click on exercise and then you can choose from these options. And you can add more workouts as well from the app. If you say if you want to walk, if you're going to go out for a walk or inside, indoor walk or outdoor, you can turn on your GPS or you can turn it off. And heart zone notifications when there's like three cardio peak and something else i don't remember exactly uh if you want to know what level you are at what time of the workout you can just um click on this on put this on on if you want if you don't want to receive notifications when you're doing uh, about the heart zone then you can just turn it off but i want both of them on and if you turn off GPS, you save a battery, but I want to keep it on. And it has seven day battery life. You can edit this, your watch face. Okay, and you can see how many steps you've walked. Uh, your goal, how many steps you want to walk and how, how many of your, you walked, how many you walked. And I don't know what this is. This is your heart rate. And this is your resting heart rate. Beats per minute specifically you can say. And how many kilometers you've walked. 
how many calories you've burnt uh what's this i don't know what that is uh sleep data your weight how many water how much water you have drank and how many workouts you did in a day this one is i think and yeah that's it Here you can just go back to your home screen uh, you can go left if you have Spotify premium then you can control your pre uh, you can log in the mobile uh, Fitbit mobile app, mobile app and then you can do it there you can just go out and um, if your heart rate goes up or you just want to relax you can just click on this relax and turn it on it's going to give you some breathing exercises I think and then you have your agenda. I guess you need to set that up in your Fitbit app as well. Yeah. Okay. And let's go left. You have can set. You can set a timer set and alarms. And you can check the weather. It needs to be synced with the phone if you want to see the weather. Is it synced now? No. I think you need to go there and do something. And then you have other setting options over here. Okay. You have vibrations normal. If you want to hide, you can do that. Uh, you can set your brightness, dim, normal, or auto. I'll leave it to auto. Vibrations. You can change it strong, normal. Uh, heart rate on, on, off. And I'm going to keep it on. Do not disturb if you're in a meeting or somewhere. If you don't want notifications or if you're in a class then you can just keep do not disturb and then you have your sleep mode when you're sleeping you can turn it on active zone minutes notification it's the same thing for the workout one I showed you screen timeout I really don't know what that is let's just click on it oh, okay let's just leave it there let's just keep it default okay and gps settings i don't want to change anything but let's just click on it okay gps mode dynamic glons glonas i don't know what that is gps low power mode okay i just kept on default reset to default so you can just do that and GPS info, if you click on that, it's going to say go to fitbit.com and find out about it. And that's it. And there's a lot more features um, you can change and stuff in the mobile app. So you can check it out yourself. But bye guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you like it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Please do like, share and subscribe.